winning athletes at the next Olympic Games could be rewarded for their sporting achievements with medals made from old computer components and electronic waste. Organizers of the Tokyo 2020 Games are looking to reclaim medals from e-waste as a source of medals for gold, silver and bronze medals. Experts believe Japan is sitting atop an urban mine of precious metals locked away in discarded electronics and devices such as old smartphones waiting to be tapped. Although the amount of precious metals used in devices is tiny, it is estimated there may be enough locked up in Japan's electronic scrap to produce the medals needed for the Olympic and Paralympic Games in four years' time. According to a recent report by the Nikkei Asian Review, the country's e-trash could hold as much as 16% of the world's gold reserves and 22% of its silver. The drive for reclaimed precious metals discussed at a meeting in June forms part of efforts of the Tokyo Games organizers to work towards a sustainable future with Japan's Ministry of Environment, local government, recycling and technology groups working together in order to liberate the metals. Government officials say a larger push is needed for efforts to collect personal electronic waste from residents which are falling far short of targets. Typically, reclaiming metals from electronic waste can be a hazardous process due to the chemicals used. Circuit boards and other e-waste components are submerged in vats of acid to melt the plastic and release the metals, but the process often involves toxic chemicals such as cyanide and lead. Recently, researchers from the University of Edinburgh developed an improved extraction method which does not use these toxic chemicals and recovers more gold. It involves placing the circuit boards into mild acid to dissolve of all the metal parts. An oily liquid which contains a chemical compound is then added, which only extracts the gold. The researchers hope that this method will improve how gold is recovered from discarded waste and could reduce the environmental impact of gold mining. While Olympic medals do not have to have to be pure, they do have to meet strict regulations on their size and composition. Guidelines from the International Olympic Committee state that gold medals must contain at least 6 grams of gold and 92 points. 0.5% silver must be 60 mm in diameter and 3 mm in thickness. The gold medals awarded at London 2012 weighed 412 grams and were 92.5% silver, 1.34% gold and the rest made up of copper. Silver medals were 92.5% and the remainder copper, while third place bronze medals were made from copper with 2.5% zinc and a trace amount of tin, according to Forbes.